Goldfield, Nevada really is the embodiment of the Wild West, and its early pioneer graveyard reflects that. It's the final resting place of wretched outlaws, deadly gunmen, and the roughest and toughest miners in the state. The Pioneer Cemetery is made up of rows and rows of oddly shaped headstones, inscriptions on rocks that are not even uniformly shaped, and their names written in red paint. Just walking between these old stones, we see that there are hundreds of untold stories here. But there's one in particular that I'm looking for. Occasionally, we see the cause of death, giving us a further glimpse into the lawlessness of the early town. Hit by a rock when blasting. Gunshots. Hanged. Suicide in jail cell. And then we get to this king. There's my boy. Unknown man died eating library paste. July 14th, 1908. This headstone is obviously amusing. His story, on the other hand, is quite sad. 1908, downtown Goldfield. A homeless man is starving to death. And he's wandering the streets, and he's trying to find something to eat. And he finds in a waste bin outside of the downtown library a jar. And he starts eating it. It's quite sweet. He finishes off the whole jar. It's actually library paste, you know, for, for gluing things into books. That's made mostly out of just water and flour, so you would think it's edible. He thinks it's edible, but there are little bits of alum in it, and alum is deadly. He eats the whole jar. Down near the automobile garage, he dies. He's picked up, and they can never identify him. They do an autopsy on him, and they discover that he died eating the paste but they don't know who he was. He had a letter in his pocket addressed to a Ross. So if that letter was for him, then he's Ross. Otherwise, he has a friend named Ross that he's writing a letter to. He was buried here in the Pioneer Cemetery, and they gave him this stone. Some skeptics today actually question the validity of this story. They say that this is clearly a joke, this is clearly a prank, but there's an article from 1908 published in the Goldfield newspaper which describes this story in detail. This is the oldest cemetery in Goldfield, Nevada. This is the Pioneer Cemetery, although it's actually the second site for this cemetery. The cemetery was initially in the downtown business district when the town began to boom after its settlement in 1902. The railroad came into town right at the location of the cemetery, and this was immediately across from the beautiful new Goldfield Hotel. Afraid that the cemetery would leave a grim first impression on those coming into the town by rail, it was decided to move these graves out of town to this new site. This was done in 1908 by a group nicknamed the Goldfield Ghouls, who dug the bodies up in the night and hauled them out of town. I'm not certain if this happened before or after the death of our glue-eating friend in 1908. He's become a little bit of an internet legend. It is a, an amusing gravestone. It's a terribly sad story. But here we are in Goldfield and we've managed to track it down. 